Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and one of my ficus right here. Uh, this is the one that I have that actually consists of a lot of uh, sim single uh, stems in here, so a lot of different trunks. My goal for this one is to create a clump style bonsai in a couple of years, I would say, so working on uh, trunk fusion a lot on this one. Uh, it is almost the end of growth season now and you can see there has been a lot of new growth on this one so I want to give it a prune back before it is too late so before the temperatures lower again uh, there's a lot of growth coming here from lower points so I just want to clean it up a bit also take some initial steps in, in working a bit on, on fusing this together just making it more compact at the moment I'm not really working on taping it up for example yet so I think it's a bit too early for that still I will do that in spring but now to already have it more settled in over winter I will tie it also a bit here and I thought why not do this together with you now so what I would suggest is that we start with pruning it back especially here down here there has been a lot of new growth again coming so this is a quite vigorous variety of ficus I must say so the growth on this one uh, amazed me definitely because it is just so prolific the growth on this one that I could prune it back probably at least once a month and it would still have so many new shoots developing that there is always something to work on but I'm quite happy about this I do expect a lot of growth out of this I actually, at the beginning I wasn't sure if I should prune it now because of course if I let it grow it should also thicken the trunks which will in turn help me uh, with also then uh, fusing the trunks together but at the moment I'm not fully happy yet with how they are set up so I think they are too far apart for my liking still so I would rather work on this at the moment and then really get on with the fusion of the trunks in the next growth season. So for now, I really just take out all of this new growth. There would be a lot of material for new cuttings also, but there is already enough stems in here, I would say. So we don't need too much of these at the moment. So I'm trying to take them out as quickly as possible, but there, as I said, is a lot of new growth up here. And I want to give it again this ball-like shape which it had before because right now there is not much of the original shape left because growth season was quite good to this tree. I do keep this one actually not even in a too bright spot so it is in a west facing window roughly two meters pulled back from the window so it doesn't get any direct sunlight but it is in I would say medium light and it does very well there. I have not repotted it since I brought it home so also not a lot of stress on this tree up to this point, so that's probably why it did settle in my home quite nicely without too much stress, without losing too much leaves. What I did see with this one is actually that inside, because it is so dense, there were a lot of dead leaves. Uh, I simply picked them out when I see them. It is still bushy enough, so there is new growth coming in and it does not look bare at all. So simply because it is too dense you will have the leaves in inside the tree die back because they simply do not uh, get enough sunshine to still be of benefit for the tree. So up here still a bit just taking out the tips maybe we also get some branching going which of course would be also a nice benefit of pruning it back this way here we already have a nice branch, I don't want to go back too far here. And I think we can already see again a more well-developed shape on this one. Really this ball-like shape that is the aim that I have for this tree. Here we also can still go a bit back. Here we have nice branches, I would like to keep that actually. Here we can go back, Here we can go back and other than that I would not prune back too much probably as there is still some weeks left in growth season there will be new growth but for now it has again a nice shape 
So as I mentioned before, what I also want to do is simply tie it a bit more here. And for that, I will actually use wire that, let me just prepare for a second. So I need to cut it. So wire roughly 20 centimeters, simply tie it around here, make it already more compact. So later on, when the trunk is starting to increase in diameter, uh, it will more easily fuse together because it simply doesn't have any other space to move to other than into other trunks. So I'm simply looking at which height it would make sense. I would say roughly here. And then I just try to tie it quite strongly, but of course still giving it some root to grow and simply tie it like so. Not too tight, but so I can still later on, for example, with some pliers, make it tighter. At the moment it is tight up here, so it already gives it a nice uh, taper because I left it here more open and it nicely narrows up then to this point. So if it fuses together like this, I would already be quite happy with the oval look of the tree. So we'll leave the wire on like this. If I see that it cuts too much into here, I will then uh, later on take off the wire, hope that it already settled a bit more in this space and then tape the tree to encourage the, the um, fusion of the trunks. But as I said, probably that I will do in spring when new growth season starts, because then we should see a lot of new growth also on the trunk. I won't prune it back then to really um, have the tree or encourage the tree to grow the trunks and then hopefully see first fusion happening there. So that is basically the midterm goal on this tree. I will keep you updated on how it's doing. Uh, definitely when it comes to more working more on the trunk fusion i will show you also what i'm doing there so keep definitely uh up to this point because you will see more of this tree so i hope if you enjoyed this video that you leave a like i would also enjoy if you subscribe to this channel and hopefully then i still will see you in another video until then goodbye